The love story of Jacob and Rachel in some ways reads like a romantic fairy tale. And while there are many noteworthy aspects of the story, one that's displayed most clearly is commitment. Jacob's loving actions went way beyond simple lip service. He did something few of us in the 21st century would even consider. Verse 20 says, Jacob worked seven years to pay for Rachel, but his love for her was so strong that it seemed to him but a few days. When I read this verse, I just pictured this love and affection that Jacob had for Rachel. And then I can't help but think that this is God's design for marriage. That marriage would be marked by that kind of zeal and affection and love for one another. Listen, Jacob worked seven years for the sake of the person he loved. In our day of instant communication and instantaneous decisions regarding all kinds of intimacy and relationships, waiting seven years is kind of hard to imagine. And unfortunately for Jacob, at the end of seven years, because of an ancient custom, he was tricked into marrying not the object of his devotion, but her older sister. Kind of ironic that the trickster was tricked. The deceiver was deceived. The younger brother who took the place of the older brother found the younger sister he loved replaced by the older sister. It's hard to read this story without thinking of the old saying, what goes around comes around. But check it out, that didn't deter Jacob's commitment and he agreed to another seven years of labor for his love. Here's the deal. As married believers, couples are called to love their spouses as Jesus Christ loves the church. And how much does Jesus love the church? He loves us so much that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Jacob and Rachel's love story pales in comparison to the mighty, never-ending love that God has for us. With God, we can live life fully knowing that we are deeply and dearly loved. So let me ask you, have you accepted God's love for you? And in return, are you sharing that love with others?